Welcome to gcready.com. Let us see some of the questions on PL SQL. Explain raise application error. Raise application error is a procedure of package DBMS underscore standard that allows issuing of user defined error messages from database trigger or stored sub program explain two virtual tables available at the time of database trigger table columns are referred as then dot column name and now dot column name for insert related triggers now dot column name values are available for delete related triggers then dot column name values are only available and for update related triggers both table columns are available what are the rules to be applied to the nulls while doing comparisons null is never true or false null cannot be equal or unequal to the other values if a value in an expression is null then the expression itself evaluates to null except for concatenation operator thus sql plus also have a pl sql engine no sql plus does not have a pl sql engine embedded in it thus all the pl sql code is sent directly to the database engine it is much more efficient as each statement is not individually stripped off explain three basic parts of a trigger a trigger the three basic parts of a trigger are a triggering statement or event a restriction and an action what are character functions init cap upper lower length are all character functions group functions give the results based on the groups of rows as opposed to individual rows they are max min average count and sum explain t title and b title t title and b title commands that control reports headers and footers what is an intersect intersect is the product of two tables and it lists only matching rows what are sequences sequences are used to generate sequence numbers without an overhead of locking its drawback is that the sequence number is lost if the transaction is rolled back what is a cursor 
for a loop. Cursor for a loop implicitly declares percentile row type as loop index. It opens a cursor, fetches the rows of values from active set into the fields in the record and then closes when all the records have to be processed. Explain the usage of where current of clause in cursors. Where current of clause in an update delete statement refers to the latest row fetched from a cursor. Is it possible to use transaction control statements such as rollback or commit in a database trigger and why? It is not possible because as triggers are defined for each table, if you use commit or rollback in a trigger, it affects logical transaction processing. What is raise application error? Raise application error is a procedure of package DBMS standard which allows to issue a user defined error messages from stored subprogram or database trigger. What is the difference between procedure and function? A function is always it returns a value using the return statement. A procedure may return one or more values through the parameters or may not return at all. Explain how procedures and functions are called in a PL SQL block. Function is called as part of an expression and procedure is called as a PL SQL statement. What is overloading of procedures? The same procedure name is repeated with parameters of different data types and parameters in different positions. Varying number of parameters is called overloading of procedures. Example dbms underscore output put underscore line. What is a package? What are the advantages of packages? Package is a database object that groups logically related procedures. The advantages of packages are modularity, easier application design and information, hiding, reusability and better performance. What are the two parts of a package? The two parts of a package are package specification and the package body. Package specification contains declarations that are global to the packages and local to the schema. Package body contains actual procedures and local declaration of the procedures and cursor declarations. 
what is the difference between a cursor declared in a procedure and cursor declared in a packet specification a cursor declared in a packet specification is global and can be accessed by the other procedures or procedures in a package whereas a cursor declared in a procedure is local to the procedure that cannot be accessed by other procedures how would you reference column values before and after you have inserted and deleted triggers using the keyword new dot column name the triggers can reference column values by new collection by using the keyword old dot column name they can reference column values by old collection what are the uses of sys date and user keywords sys date refers to the current server system date it is a pseudo column user is also a pseudo column but it refers to the current user who logged on to the session they are used to monitor the changes happening in the table how does a row id help in running a query faster row id is the logical address of a row it is not a physical column it composes of data block number a file number and a row number in the data block thus input output time gets minimized retrieving the row and it results in a faster query what is a spool spool command can print the output of sql statements in a file what does fetching a cursor do fetching a cursor reads result set row by row what does closing a cursor do closing a cursor clears the private sql area as well as it deallocates the memory explain autonomous transaction an autonomous transaction is an independent transaction of the main or parent transaction it is not nested if it is started by another transaction there are several situations to use autonomous transactions like event logging and auditing what is out parameter used for even though written statement can also be used in pl sql out parameters allows more than one value in the calling program out parameter is not recommended in functions procedures can be used instead of functions if multiple values are required thus 
these procedures are used to execute out parameters mention what does the hierarchical profiler does the hierarchical profiler could profile the calls made in pl sql apart from filling the gap between the loopholes and the expectations of performance tracing the efficiencies of the hierarchical profiler includes distinct reporting for sql and pl sql time consumption reports count of distinct sub programs calls made in the pl sql and the time spent with each sub program call and multiple interactive analytics reports in html format by using the command line utility and more effective than conventional profiler and other tracing utilities mention what does plv message allows you to do the plv message enables you to assign individual text message to specified row in the pl sql table it retrieves the message text by a number it substitutes automatically your own messages for standard oracle error messages with restrict toggle batch load message numbers and text from a database table directly plv message pl sql table mention what is the plv pl vision package offers the plv package offers null substitution value set of assertion routines miscellaneous utilities set of constants used throughout the pl vision and predefined data types mention what is the use of plv prs and plv prs ps plv prs it is an extension for string parsing for pl sql and it is the lowest level of string parsing functionality plv prs ps it is the highest level package to parse pl sql source code into separate atomics it relies on other parsing packages to get work done explain how you can copy a file to file content and file to pl sql table in advanced pl sql with a single program call f copy processor you can copy the complete contents of one file into the another file while to copy the contents of the file directly into a pl sql table you can use the program file to ps tab mention what plv comment commit and p 
PLV RB does in PLSQL. PL Vision offers two packages that help you to the manage transaction processing in PLSQL application. It is PLV commit and PLV rollback. PLV commit package wraps logic and complexity for dealing with commit processing. And PLV RB, it provides a programmatic interface to rollback activity in PLSQL.